You know how certain places and smells can bring back like a nostalgic connection that you may have? That's basically how I feel about Earth Orange. Every single thing I see with Earth Orange just triggers that early 2000s nostalgia. Some of the LEGO Group's strongest molds are exclusively in this color, and when LEGO axed all of its fun colors, Earth Orange was just another one of its victims. Let's honor its legacy and cover the entirety of the run. Now, before we get started on this journey, I really wish there was somebody that we could ask for like their expertise or if they knew one or two things about Earth Orange. I know something about Earth Orange. Did you, did you guys hear something? No? All right, moving on. To start this journey, we need to travel all the way back to 1982, to the spawn point of Earth Orange. I kind of always saw these bricks as like an early form of Duplo. From the introduction of their parts in 1982 to 1985, floods of parts in the Fabuland theme rolled out and they had tons of cool looking parts. Something you'll notice about every Earth Orange piece is that they're kind of exclusive to just being fun parts. Not a whole lot of bricks or more accessories get to be fun molds. Rounding out the 80s and heading into the 90s, Duplo began to roll out, leading into 2660's Duplo Battle Pack. Here we'll find the Earth Orange Lion, where we'll start to get some more Earth Orange Duplo characters. Seven years later, the LEGO Group began to experiment with new markets and interesting new themes. The Earth Orange Chicken arrived with the Baguette and the Scallop theme accessory pack. This now brought one of my favorite pieces to life, the Earth Orange Chicken. With the chicken, you can always pull one off from the drumstick. It's such a cool feature. We also got a Duplo Earth Orange tree log, which, okay. Scalia adds a croissant to the line in the following year, and we move to larger horse figures, carrying on from the experimental briar horse craze in the early 90s. The Earth Orange saddle here, and this thing, rubbery plastic thing for the horse's bridle. I'm trying to sound excited about this one, but this just breathes early 2000s, and the last Scalia run introduced Sita and Sniff, two doll-like dogs. Okay, now it's really time for Earth Orange to shine. Seven 115 Gungan Patrol. This is a really special Star Wars Episode 1 set, but we're not going to look at the set itself. We need these two massive Earth Orange creatures. These Cadus, or Gungan Beasts as they're called on Bricklink. These things are huge, and they look great. The year's 2000, and they're knocking it out of the park. Still today, these molds hold up extremely well, and there's never been an alternative to these awesome looking Episode 1 Gungan creatures. Look at. Wicked. Come on, dude. Peak media could not be stopped. Harry Potter's LEGO release and the earliest version of Jenny and Ron Weasley both had Earth Orange hair. And again, don't get fooled by Dark Nougat. It's a color that looks just like Earth Orange, but it's a little bit lighter. The fun of system scale Earth Orange pieces just doesn't end here. However, the year is 2002 and the LEGO group makes a tragic and dire mistake. Enter the Galador line. Now, I really just do not know anything about Galador and I'm not really gonna say anything. I'm not really huge on action figures, but I do know one thing. This figure was a pain in the ass to get. I had to go and track this thing down all the way to the Philippines to get these last earth orange pieces. I was so dedicated to this bit, I had to, I, I'm not even gonna say, all right, whatever. When I was even doing research about this figure, it was even more complicated. I had to look up some of the lore of this figure and it was just, I don't even know, man. This little small earth orange creature uses this suction cup thing to get nutrients to survive. I think I said that right. I'm just, again, not a huge action figure guy. I do know this figure is very adjustable. It does look really nice and it's got a ton of pieces, like 11. So it does move pretty well. 7411 Tychors were from the Orient Expo Expedition is a grail set. This set is also the encapsulation of the finale of Earth Orange system parts. This is it. There's no more system parts after this. Let's check out this set real quick. The Technic Brick 1x2 with the hole and the 2x2 plate. Both of these are going to be some of the only great system building parts that are going to be in Earth Orange. And of course, the massive Tigura. I hope I'm saying that right, because this figure is huge. It's actually a figure that's made up of a ton of different molds. It's like the LEGO group wanted to have so much fun with Earth Orange, they just kept using it for all of its exciting molds. All of these earth orange pieces come together much like our a quart figure. This is such a cool mold. Now we enter 2004, where Lego begin to axe a lot of colors. Somehow this old lion cub mold returns for Dora. I don't know, I can't explain it, but 15 years later this mold comes back for one last run to attend the Dora line with the new face print. How cool. We also get 
two new earth orange pieces that have printed textures on them, one with apples and one that just says fragile. Must be Italian. We can also see this nice earth orange piece here with a printed log on it. It's also got some waves on it. It's got a cool little play function for Duplo, I guess. And that's almost it. However, and just like this Nesquik figure that I really want, LEGO ran a promotion with Nestle. It's a Knight's Kingdom 2 polybag and it's a giant character only consisting of three parts. However, these two earth orange weapons actually have Technic axles, so they fit into nice pieces. Both these Nestle promos had both of these two unique weapons, and that's it. That's the finale of Earth Orange. LEGO acts as the color after that. They finish on these two weak Nestle promos, and it's just another victim of LEGO canceling some of its fun colors. Now, I'd love to see this color come back, and I say that all the time at the end of these videos, because I mean it. This one is fun. This one is just a history of being unique and cool, and I think LEGO can use it again. That's it.